In this lesson, we will look at complex conjugates and the conjugate pairs theorem. The complex conjugate of a complex number a plus bi, where b is not equal to zero, is a minus bi. Let's look at some complex numbers and determine their conjugates. 4 plus 3i has a complex conjugate of 4 minus 3i. Negative 2i, think of this as 0 plus negative 2i, would have a complex conjugate of 0 minus a negative 2i, or 2i. 6 does not have a complex conjugate. The conjugate pairs theorem, if f is a polynomial function with real number coefficients and a plus bi, where b is not equal to 0, is a 0 of f, then so is a minus bi. Recall the polynomial f of x equals x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 4. We found the zeros to be 1, negative 2i, and 2i. And for this polynomial to have real number coefficients as it does, and for negative 2i to be a 0, it will have to be true that 2i, its complex conjugate, is a 0 as well. Let's create a polynomial f with real number coefficients, which has zeros of 2 and 1 plus i. If 1 plus i is a 0, and we have real number coefficients, then 1 minus i, the complex conjugate of 1 plus i, must be a 0 as well. So our polynomial f of x will be equal to, if 2 is a 0, we will have a factor of x minus 2. If 1 plus i is a 0, we will have a factor of x minus 1 plus i. If 1 minus i is a 0, we will have a factor of x minus 1 minus i. Okay, so we have x minus 2 times x minus 1 minus i times x minus 1 plus i. I like to start by multiplying the terms together with the i's in them. So I'll just start by distributing x through, giving me x squared minus x plus ix. Then distribute the negative 1 through, so we have minus x plus 1 minus i. And lastly, distribute this negative i through, so negative ix plus i minus i squared. Okay, and notice we can add together some of these terms and get zeros. So ix minus ix, negative i plus i, helps us to simplify a bit. So I have x minus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 1 minus i squared. Okay, so x squared minus 2x. Remember that i squared is equal to negative 1, so minus a negative 1, I would have a plus 1. So we're going to have a 1 plus 1, or x squared minus 2x plus 2. And let's finish off multiplying these two polynomials together. I'll distribute the x from the first through the second, and having x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x, distribute the negative 2 through to give me negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 4, and we'll simplify to end up with a polynomial f of x of x cubed minus 4x squared plus 6x minus 4. Try this next one on your own. Create a polynomial f with real number coefficients, which has zeros of negative 3 and negative 2i.